Good morning, everybody. This is Aaron, the artist, and um, today I'm going to talk about something that a lot of people don't talk about, and that is when a black man hurts. And it's something that's not discussed because there's something that men, us as men, we don't teach our children and pass down. Uh, what did what to do when a man is hurting and you know me I like to look at the word for everything I get all my answers from the word of God and uh, it helps and in, in uh, so many ways but you know it's hard to talk about and it's because no man wants to admit when he's vulnerable no man wants to admit when he's hurting. It's something that we, as a culture, black men, you know, always have to seem strong. And as black men, we've been so used to being pinned against each other that we fight each other um, in opposition of each other all the time. So we can't seem weak. You know this, the worldly saying. Never let them see you sweat. But. Since I don't follow the world. The Bible said that we're supposed to be in the world. But not of it. So. What to do when a man is hurting. And I speak from experience. When I talk about. Being hurt. Or hurting. You know, cause not too long ago, you know, I was heart, I was, I was heartbroken by a woman, and these things black men don't discuss with each other because, I, like I said, we got to see, we got to be seen as strong. But that's the reason why a lot of things go on. In in uh, in um in black society, is because people going around hurting inside, and they don't they don't get a chance to talk about it. They don't get a chance to express how they feel or or get things out or allow God to 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 comfort them. What happens is they mask their 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 hurt with anger or drugs and alcohol and ultimately the problem is still going to be there the hurt is still going to be there even if the problem is gone so what we need to do is rely on God to be there for us in a time when, our, when we hurting inside how do I know this? Because I know the word says in 2 Corinthians, you go to 2 Corinthians 3, 1 and 3. And it says, Blessed be God, even if the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort. He is the God of all comfort. And once I read that, it just shed light on a lot of things. Because a lot of people want to think that God is a judgmental God. God holds over your head everything that you've done wrong. But in fact, the Bible says that God is love. And then it says that the characteristics of love, love doesn't count. Keep a tally of wrongs. He doesn't keep a tally of everything that you've done wrong. As a matter of fact, it says when you repent to him... Your sins as far as the east to the west. And he remembers it no more. So keep that in mind. Of what kind of God we dealing with. We dealing with a loving God. That has mercy over us. And he's the God of all comfort. I remember when my grandmother died. I was hurt. And I was. I was. I was very hurt. 
she died a week before Christmas and you know I never got to say goodbye to her which really hurt me and I cried a lot of nights but when I prayed to God and fell asleep one night I had a vivid dream of my grandmother it was kind of like in a Black Panther movie when he went to go see the ancestral plane except uh, I'm talking about Eric Killmonger character uh, when he went to go and he was in his father's room now that's exactly how I was I usually sit down with my grandma at the kitchen table and we were sitting down at the kitchen table and I, I asked her every question I wanted to ask her if she was still alive and I, you know, and I knew she was dying. I got closure. You know, I woke up and I felt closure. I felt better. I knew it. I knew it was God. That. I knew it was God that that made me have that dream. You never know how God is going to comfort you. You just got to know that He is the God of comfort, and that He He will be there for you in your time of need he will be there to comfort you whether it's from a death or a betrayal these things hurt us as a people and it's it's time somebody discussed this and I and I've I've never been taught this and I'm sure a lot of you haven't either. It's a lot of things that, that black men do. And we cause bad habits out of being hurt. Like I had to be real with myself yesterday. I smoke a lot of weed. And I was like, I didn't smoke a lot of weed before. I wasn't smoking at all. Why am I smoking a lot now? And I had to come to a realization that I'm hurting right now. I'm hurting and I'm smoking a lot of weed so that I can, you know, numb the, the fact that I'm hurting. And it works. It works until I'm out of weed and I'm out of money. And then I still got to look to God. Because I still got to deal with my problems on a day-to-day -day basis. I can't smoke and be high all the time. So. You know. He's still working with me. Day by day I get stronger. But I also get stronger in the word. Knowing that God is going to be there. And also, like right now, he showed me that that was the best decision I could have, that, that could have happened, you know, as far as the breakup, you know, because I've been, you know, betrayed and uh, I don't want to get into it, but, you know, I'm 34 going on 35 now, but, you know, anybody at any age could be heartbroken. It's just... You know, not not a lot of people is open to a line of communication to say that they are because other people would just tell you to get over it. You know, uh, you know, even I do it with my son. Like when he cries, I say, "Stop crying. Be a man. Stick out the chest." I mean, but it you can stop crying, but the hurt is still there. It's just, you know, we we use that energy for other things. That energy that we could have been using positively, we use in, negative, in a negative way because we hurting. But if you knew that God was the God of comfort, it would. I know that that would help somebody. Because it helped me so many times. So many times. Just knowing that who God is helps. 
because the more you know him, the more that these promises in this book can be fulfilled in your life. I God bless y'all. I hope y'all have a good day. Keep yourself encouraged and God bless.